Well, hey there, it's Sandy Alnock with a relatively short video here about watercolor pencil hex charts with a bit of a Q&A and some tips. If you've been following me for very long, you've likely heard about alcohol marker or colored pencil hex charts. And for a long time, people have asked for water media hex charts. And there's some really good reasons that I haven't done so until now. But I thought I would try a few of them and see if I was wrong. So let's talk about that. I haven't made any charts for water media for a really big reason, and that is that inkjet printer ink is not waterproof. That means if you print my hex chart on an inkjet and then use water on it, the black ink is going to bleed all over the place. It's going to contaminate your color. Your yellow is going to come out looking grayish green. And then I would get complaints. There would be an avalanche of emails yelling at me that it was my fault, even though it's the fault of their printer. And I didn't know how long I could stay polite explaining that. So I just decided not to do it. But recently, a neighbor, very kind man, gave me an old laser printer. A friend of his was going out of business and he was giving stuff away. So God bless both of them for making that happen. It's not a swanky printer. It only prints in black. But I thought I'd try it. Because I read that if laser toner gets cooked heated well enough, it can be waterproof or waterproof-ish, should I say. Now, your laser printer could be fully waterproof. I don't know. Test it by running a document through it and running water across the page on a brush and see what happens. If you have one like mine that's partially waterproof, then as soon as you start fussing around with it, you will start washing away the text. But if you're really careful and just use a little light touch and a little water, you can make it work. You're seeing some of that happen throughout this video. You have two things you need to test. One is to see if you can print on watercolor paper. You can print on your regular 140 pound and do some testing. Use a manual setting so that you're running through the manual feed and your paper isn't curling through the printer and print any document on it. Most printers are gonna have the ability to adjust for thicker papers. So play around with those. Different levels of thickness might make a difference. I got a lot of messy prints with it. So I went to the art store and I picked up some half sheets of 90 pound, very thin watercolor paper. This happened to be half sheets from Bien Fang and they were like a dollar three. And I just cut them down to printable size. It was crazy cheap for these. A problem with it, it's gonna buckle with water. And that can be a problem if you want your thing to be all perfect, but it could run through my printer. So six of one, half dozen of the other, I went with the 90 pound. I ironed it before adding color just to try to heat the ink up a little extra. I don't think that made any difference. Then I also ironed it after painting the whole chart to smooth out some of the buckling as best I could. I used a cotton setting for about 30 seconds and just keep the iron moving. Don't burn your paper. So now let's talk about that water management on this thin paper. With your watercolor pencils, you can either completely or partially fill the hexagons. Some people like to go around the edges of the hexagon, leaving the center as the light part. But that means you have to blend around all the sides. I decided to just blend once across the whole thing and do half and half with mine. Messy is okay when you're doing this. It doesn't have to be pretty because you're going to melt the color out with water and you'll use a brush to do that. Uh, if you're making a light to dark blend, start with clean water at the light edge. Drag a little bit of the color out over there and then wet the darker pigment as you move into the hexagon. And I just ended at the center with as few dabs as possible to just get some color in the words and not touch those letters any more than I had to. Remember that the more water you use, the paler your hexagon will be. And if your brush is too stiff, you could also scrub out the text. So just be really careful and use a very light touch. You might want to consider painting every other hexagon with water so that you leave time to dry in between each one. And then you don't have to use a heat gun since it warps so easily. It works well to keep the hexagons from bleeding into each other. I recommend having a paper towel or a rag handy to get rid of excess water. 
Now, what do you do if the text does wash away on a few of them? First off, don't panic. <laughs> the hex chart can also be printed on a sheet of acetate that you can run through a laser printer. And I've linked the one that I got in the description down below. I run it through on manual feed with a piece of regular print printer paper under it. It comes with a sheet of tissue paper, but my printer wanted regular printer paper. So test and see what works with yours. And then you can just lay that over the top. That will also make sure that any of the dark hexagons that you have colored underneath of it can be red as well. I store my charts in plastic sleeves and I always recommend this because art is messy. There are currently three brands of watercolor pencils in the collection and they're added to alcohol marker and colored pencil brands all in one page which is linked in the description down below. If these go well and people have success in using them then I'll consider doing some other brands of water media but uh, somebody's going to need to send me some winning lottery tickets because I need to own a full set in order to make charts and I ain't made of money. I got pocket lint to offer so... <laughs> Let me know if you happen to have a full set you want to donate for the cause. All right, links in the doobly-doo for the charts, as well as the paper and the acetate and the pencils and everything, as well as a link to my live cast using Albrecht Door pencils so you can draw along with me and we can talk about watercolor pencils more. So get out there, create something every day, not just charts, go make some art. And I will see you next time. Hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.